Hi, everybody. This is Erin Marsh again from Ransom District Library, and I am going to talk in this video about how to set yourself up as the family member who uh, oversees the accounts for your kids. All right, so our uh, if you watch the other video, it's much more in depth. Um, it will tell you about how to how to work the challenges and the events and so forth. This is mainly for the parent registration portion of it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the register now button. And I am going to list my own age this time or some proximity of it. It should it should tick toward adult for anything you put that's over 18. I'm going to call myself 24 this time around and we will go ahead and go to the next screen which then tells you that a family account it can be used to manage multiple accounts. So here we'll tell it yes that's what we want to do this time. All right and so it automatically puts me into the adult program. There is no adult program at the moment. This is just for kids and teens. There's also not a preschool program online because kids are really too little to use it. We strongly encourage you to use a thousand books before kindergarten as a way to keep your kids reading over the summer this year. All right, so I'm going to put in my first name. We'll just call me Josie and Smith. Making up my own names as I go along here. Smith at Mac.com. What the heck? Okay, it's short. So then it asks for your library card number. This will be the library card number associated with all of your children. So if you want to use just one, you certainly can. I'm just making up a number there. And then you can also make up a team name. Um, let's see, how about the uh, Hmm, Screaming Eagles. Right. So now we get to choose username and password for the program, just like you did registering it as an individual. Um, let's see, I'm gonna be Eagle Mama. Hmm. Four. And for my password, Let's see, something eagle like um, Sam the Eagle. All right, then we move on and it will create my account. All right, then here it doesn't look like anything much, but it's important because it says that you indicated you wanted to create accounts for other mem members of your household. So you would click next in order to do that. Now their age goes into this spot. So let's do a six year old. And this kid is going to be named um, Shirley Smith. And it automatically fills in the last name. So I know some family members don't have the same last name but it will help keep uh, your family group organized, so we just have to go with it. Email address, autofills from your email address. So then we move on. It autofills your library card number and the group name. And then you get to a unique username and password for this child. The reason that it does that is because you will be able as a parent to manage events and books for your child from one place. But the challenges give them a lot of individual selection and they'll want to choose the different activities that they do and quite possibly explore which challenges are offered and, and so forth. So it's still under your control because you can log them in and you can help them manage their events and their books. But with the challenges, they may want to log in individually. And I'll show you in a minute, too, a way that once you're logged in, you can get your individual children to have a turn. All right, so we need the username and password. Let's see, how about bubbles? Looks like I've used that a couple times. 222, and her password is gonna be bubbles222. I don't advise using the same password and username. 
but considering the fact that I'm making fake accounts, I think it's okay. All right, so there. Now we have created the account. It's been successfully created. If we want to add other members of the household, we can click next, or we can go ahead and click done. It works this way absolutely fine. I'm now going to show you a different way that you can add children as well. So I've got my one child added. My teen has been difficult and they have decided they didn't want to do the summer reading program. Well, then they decide they do want to do the summer reading program. So from, from the home page here, I can go into my account up here. And this is going to show me my own personal account, the manager's account. And this has a button that says manage family members, which you do not see on the individual accounts. That only shows up here under the account managers list. So I'm gonna click on that. And that shows me my one family member, Shirley Smith, but I can add another family member right here. What I like about adding family members here is that all of the information is placed on one page, so you don't have to wait through several screens in order to get it all filled in. It can do it just at once, all at once. So let me show you. All right, I am going to register a new family member. And here it is. Everything is there at once. All of the things that were there before were auto-filled on those other screens. They're there as well. It's just, um, it's just the things that have to be filled in that come on one screen. And it also asks for your password only one time. So it's just a tiny bit faster and more convenient for a parent. All right, so this is going to be um, Surly Teen. Fifteen. We'll make it a 15 year old. We've already got a surly teen in here um, because one of the one of the people who was beta testing the program decided to use that as uh, as his handle, which I thought was kind of funny. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Surly teen fifteen is the password, and this is going to be. Um, John Smith, real exciting there. And we put him in as part of the teen program and his age is 15, we said. So again, this loads it with your email and your library card number so that they save under the same team. So now both of them show up there in the list. All right, so you can enter their activities. And when you do, you'll get just this screen where you can enter in books for them and you can enter in the secret codes after they've attended an event. And then you can go back to family members and get the same thing. Or you can do login as, like so, and it takes you to the regular homepage and then they have access to doing their own books and event codes. And also um, they have access here to the challenges which they don't from the other screen when you're managing it. So either way, you'll have to get them to this screen eventually if they're going to participate in the challenge part of the program, but it does at least give you a certain degree of control and you get to handle the passwords and so forth and, and keep a little rein on you know, everybody in your, your brood. So I hope you find this helpful. Miss Macy and I are available to answer questions for you at the library. 269-685-8024. You can find us through um, the Contact Us portion of the library website. You can find us through the mail button right here if you wish to access us through a message. That way we'll get it. And we also can be found on um, or through Facebook and uh, I feel like I'm missing one, but I think that's it. It's easier than, than saying all of the emails for you to just track us down through the web library website email because that gets to us directly and I don't have to share with you a whole bunch of gobbledygook that you have to listen to and try to write down without making mistakes. So 
I thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful. And if there's anything we can do, please contact us.